Hi, my name is Colt, and today we're talking about 10Base T1S. When we look at existing vehicle network architectures, we see a variety of different technologies being employed. For example, KNFD, FlexRay, and also point-to-point -point or switch-based automotive ethernet, including 100Base T1 or 1000Base T1. With these types of network architectures, in order to bridge data between the different networking technologies, what's often needed is complex hardware and software in what's called a gateway to transfer the data between the networks. And the software and hardware of these gateways tends to be expensive and also be the source of quality issues in production. Some in the industry want to move towards a homogeneous type of network architecture where we have exclusively automotive ethernet used throughout the entire vehicle. This has some advantages in the sense that if Ethernet were to be used in the entire vehicle, that means the very robust and uh, easy addressing methods with the MAC address, IP addresses, and so forth could route messages automatically throughout the entire vehicle without the need of expensive complex software inside of gateways because this is a built-in feature of Ethernet. It is not possible to simply replace bus or multi-drop networks like KNFD and FlexRay with the existing automotive ethernet networks like Hunter Base T1 or Thousand Base T1 because they're point-to-point -point only or switch-based, which leads to more cost from a wiring and transceiver or phi count perspective. And these are some of the reasons why the industry has developed a bus-based or multi-drop-based automotive ethernet technology, and that is 10 Base T1S. 10 Base T1S uses a very similar copper cabling, single twisted pair, similar to CAN-FD or FlexRay. The specification says at least eight nodes can be connected together with a wiring of 25 meters in, re in reach. 10Base T1S also supports power over data lines or Poodle. When one node is transmitting, all other nodes must go into a high impedance state. 10Base T1S uses a DME or differential Manchester encoding, a technique for encoding data on the physical wires. What this is, is simply we encode data based on transition, not based on level. 10Base T1S also has a optional mode for full duplex and being point to point only. The way that PLCA or physical layer collision avoidance works, each node is assigned a number, one through N, the number of nodes on the network. The master node is responsible for sending out a beacon which starts a transmission cycle time. And after the beacon, each node then will have a transmit opportunity. If the node wants to transmit data, then it will send out a commit symbol during its transmit opportunity. And immediately following that would be a standard Ethernet MAC frame. Here we depict several scenarios. The first scenario is none of the nodes have data to transmit. Node zero sends out a beacon. There's a transmit opportunity that expires from node zero because it has no data to transmit. Node one, same. Node two, the same. Node three, the same, and that continues. The second scenario is nodes one and three have data to transmit, but node zero and two do not. Beacon goes out, then there's a transmit opportunity that expires. Then node one has a transmit opportunity and within the transmit opportunity window, node one will send a commit, meaning that it has data to transmit. Then it will send data up to the maximum 1500 bytes allowable by a standard ethernet frame. And then after that, node two will have its opportunity to transmit. And if all nodes transmit, we see that every node sends a commit and data within its transmit opportunity window. 10 base T1S allows the option for specific nodes to have more than one frame being sent in its transmit opportunity. And this is called burst mode. And this allows for the asymmetric nature of most networks where some nodes produce a lot of data and different nodes, other nodes are more consumers of the data. Let's look at a point to point topology or switch based topology here with the same number of nodes, five nodes compared to a multi drop. You can see the number of phi's or transceivers needed for point-to-point -point network is eight in this scenario, whereas it's five for the multi-drop or bus 
My topologies. So this is a quick overview about 10Base T1S. We hope you found the presentation informative and I thank you for your time.